This is Japan Vlog Service. Hi YouTube, Mike Baguette here, so I'm in Senbumi Chuo. And I'm just walking home. I just went to Yamada Denki, which is like a... It's, well, if you're in Britain, it's it's Tandy's or Dixon's, you know, it's, a, it's the technology shop. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty good. I went, to, went there, though, because I, after the Osaka YouTube Hanami yesterday, more about that later, because I will share a video, and I'll put a link to that video in this, because I'll, I'll put this out afterwards. I noticed that there was not, not a scratch as such, but, but a stress on the casing of my phone at the bottom right-hand corner, which is where I hold it as I'm making this video, for example. So I thought, you know, there's something you can do about it. You can get a cover that goes over the entire phone, just to reinforce that. I said, it, it's bizarre, because it looks like it was, there must be two casings. There must be, you know, the white or black bit, and then there must be a plastic thing over it or something. And then if you do the protective film, because part of it seemed to have a scratch. But it didn't, it felt smooth, it didn't, you, you know, you didn't feel that there was a ridge. Anyway, so yeah, I went to Yamada Denki, to this, you know, technology stuff and just sorted myself with, a, out myself with a thing to do that. So I've got a nice, clean looking, resistant iPhone now. <laughs> I say a bit lost about it. It's only a, you know, a ding, but still, the ding could, you know, it weakens the structure of the phone. It's the best to reinforce it. Is my idea. But yeah, yes, I had a good time at Isaka Hanami yes, yesterday. We've been rested. Very cool. Many new people. Who I didn't know about as YouTubers, also met Guzan Kevin again for a second time. Nice to see him. Also, uh, yeah. Something happened when I was uh, walking home. I thought, not sinister, but interesting. That's the way I'm going to put it. In It's election time. In fact, uh, and, uh, as I understand it, YouTube, correct me if you know, you're not allowed to actually uh, canvas from now on, from Monday, from tomorrow, Monday onwards to, to, to the actual election time, as I understand it. Unless the, unless the uh, election is tomorrow, because yesterday I saw some guys as I was walking home at 10.30, basically this is what I wanted to say, walking home at 10.30 from Yamada Station, who were obviously, you know, canvassing for a particular person. But they didn't unfurl their flags. They have these sort of flags that, you know, announce what party they are, what what, what a constituency they're going for. But anyone familiar with Japanese politics would recognize what they're do what they're saying and what they're doing. But yet, here's the thing. You can only canvass between eight to eight. As I understand it, canvassing is all that. It's not certainly as I understand it. Last in the last week, from tomorrow onwards, you're not allowed to hand out leaflets. You're not allowed to, and you're not allowed to canvass it and you know go around with a truck saying vote for me, except 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And it, yeah, I mean I'm, I'm not telling the police, but yeah, it's kind of interesting to me. That, yeah, it seemed seem to be. Doing something untoward, shall we say? That's the best way to put it. Anyway, this is Mikey signing out. See you next week. <laughs>